Hi, I'm Brandon from Data School Cohort 20, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a Sankey chart. Sankeys are great at showing a change in flow from between conditions. Let's jump over to Tableau and get started. I've already connected to the Tableau Superstore data, but before we continue, I'll need to union the data to itself. This can be done by selecting our order sheet, dragging it on top of the other orders, and clicking union. This union will make a new field, seen at the end, called table name. It will be populated with orders. Creating a Sankey requires a lot of calculated fields. To save some time, I pre-made mine. I'll show you what each of the calculated fields entails. You can pause the video if you want to copy them down. But I've written a blog post, which I'll link below, that talks through more about what's going on behind the scenes with each calculated field. Our first calculated field looks at that table name field and says that if it equals orders, then we'll add one. If not, then 49. If we drag this to our columns, and make it a discrete dimension, you can see we've got one and we've got 49, but there's nothing in between. We can get around this by creating bins. If we right click, create bins, I'm going to call this padding and make the size of the bins one. Our next calculated field, two, when we drag this onto the columns and put padding on the detail, see it starts to break it up. You can see it better if we make the mark type a circle and change field to compute using padding. Now we have one mark for each point between 1 and 49. Our third calculated field is a rank. And this is exactly the same as our fourth calculated field. Sankey charts have that characteristic curve. That curve is called a sigmoid curve. And a fifth calculated field tells Tableau how to draw that curve. Calculated field six is showing Tableau using previous calculated fields how to draw the curve. So we'll add this to our rows. See, we get two points. If we edit our table calculation, bring up these nested calculations. So look at our specific dimensions. So we want to change them by category and by region, but they're not in our options. So if we add them to our detail shelf, they appear. So for three, we want to have category, region, and padding all selected, and in the order of category, region, padding. For four, we want to have them all selected, but region, category, padding. You can see our chart is starting to form. I'm going to edit the axis down and I'll make it between minus five and five. And our other axis between zero and one. We're also going to reverse this axis. You can see that the curves are starting to draw. So let's change our mark type to a line. Not quite what we expected, but this is because Tableau doesn't know how to draw those lines. So if we add padding to our path shelf, it will show Tableau how to draw those lines to go from padding number one to bin 49. Now we want the size of these lines to change based on the sales. 
this is where our last calculated field comes in. If we add this onto the size shelf, and again, make sure it's computing using padding, we can change the size. I'm going to add cat. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you now feel a little more comfortable in making a Sankey chart. Check out the description of this video for links to additional material that you might find useful. If you enjoyed this video, you'd love How to Build a Chord Chart by my colleague Blair. Click the, click the link on screen to watch.